You know what is my favorite part of the day? When I'm done with work, crash on the couch and have nothing more to do than surf the internet all by myself. But is it really just me? What about my friend the internet? Can it keep a secret? Is there even such a thing as privacy when we talk about the internet? Internet privacy is a subset of privacy which is a fundamental right guaranteed by the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. It gives us the right to know who collects our data and what they do with it. But the truth is that when it comes to the internet, we are not the ones who decide where our data goes. Every time we open our browser and accept cookies, our fundamental human rights are being violated. A cookie is a small piece of data sent from a website to a computer. If we accept the cookies, the website promises a better user experience, but that's just marketing talking. Just like the sweet little cookies, the internet cookies also have a downside. All cookies can be used as tracking cookies, aka tiny little spies who store all of our personal data and give it to websites. Why? To provide a great service or to hijack our attention with targeted advertisements. Cookies and advertisement, what a pair! Sure, both are annoying, but does this really make them harmful? Come on, they're just cookies! Most cookies are indeed harmless. They are the ones who remember our passwords for us and offer us ads that are just perfect for us. Pretty cool, huh? Except for the third-party cookies. While the regular cookies are made by the website itself, third-party cookies come from advertising companies. They collect the same information than regular cookies like browsing habits and frequently visited websites. But what makes them dangerous is that they give or sell our private data to other companies. And of course, we are not asked who this information can go to and what they can do with it. But why is this even a big deal? We are already used to advertisement everywhere and we don't really care what they do with our data. We are not bad people and we have nothing to hide, right? But internet privacy is not only about advertisements. Having no control over our data means that anyone who knows what they're doing can download our data and use it as they please. And we're not talking only about cookies. Most services save all kinds of information about us on their servers. From our browser history, to the pages we like, from the tweets we send to our locations. Now it gets tricky, but we have nothing to hide, remember? Browsers history, Instagram, entire contact list, Facebook, Google Maps history WhatsApp, and tracking of my location, YouTube, porn history, direct Twitter, messages and Google, emails, even Reddit, deleted ones, Reddit, Tinder messages, vibrance, mm. SMS when I was hitting Grindr, on a teacher, Snapchat, YouTube history, Paris, gossips Google, about my friends, Tinder messages, friends, naughty Twitter, messages from when Spotify, I was single Tinder. only. And now we have a problem. Imagine all of our friends, family and co-workers having free access to all this stuff. There would be some awkward and embarrassing conversations, if not a massive impact on our social and professional lives. The internet privacy is also a massive problem in terms of governmental interferences in our lives. We might not be a threat today, but what if the system changes? What if it changes drastically? Whether we are pro or against the man in power today or completely uninterested in the politics, nothing guarantees us the future system will not use whatever we do today as a weapon against us or the others. But even if the system doesn't change drastically, because of the breaches in the internet privacy, the interferences and manipulations of our democracy are already happening. Would Brexit have happened if it wasn't for targeting voters thanks to the big data provided to Cambridge Analytica by UKIP? Would the US have a different president if it wasn't for the robbery of personal data of over 87 million users via Facebook? The idea that every single move we do on the internet is being watched and that our data can be used to manipulate us in the future is frightening to most of us. The internet privacy is a way to avoid these eyes. And that's why we should try to protect it just like we're trying to protect all the other universal human rights. As of May 25th, EU citizens are protected by the General Data Protection Regulation. 
This law gives EU citizens control over their personal data, including asking internet companies to delete all their data with no questions asked. No similar law exists in the USA, and until it does, there are some things that we can do to avoid being tracked. I mean you can do, since I'm European. Use browsers and search engines that don't track you, change your passwords regularly and have different passwords for different websites and delete your cookies and cash as often as you can. And that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Now tell me in the comments, how often do you delete your cookies? I have to be honest, I do it just once per month. Guilty. If you appreciated the information shared in this video, don't forget to like it and share it with your friends, with all the friends who still think cookies are cute. And you know it's YouTube, so subscribe to the channel to not miss our next video. See you then, bye bye!